Hello everyone and welcome to Compare Raja. We are back with yet another exciting video. Today's video is for all those Facebook addicts out there. This video will help you with your privacy settings. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's begin by seeing how you can control who sees your posts. When you upload a picture, update a status or mark a location, there is a small icon that looks like a padlock. When you click on it, you will see a few options. The first one is public. Anyone can see the post whether they are your friends or not. If you want your post to be a part of a public discussion or you want it to be seen by everyone, you have to click on this. The other one is friends, so only people in your friend list can see the post. If you are posting photos of your children or any information you are deemed personal, then this is what you need to select. Then there is an only you. So perhaps you just want to use this picture as a memory that you have clicked, then you can select this option. Note that Facebook remembers the setting you used for your post last. So whenever you are posting something next, it will be posted as public or whichever your last setting was. If you want to change it, you can change it by using the same method that we followed in point number one. The next one is an overview about your privacy settings. To do this, you can quick check by tapping the padlock to the right of the home screen and you have to select run privacy checkup. This will allow you to see the privacy settings at a glance over three key areas of Facebook. The first one is posts. This will explain how to control your privacy settings for every post. The next one is Profile. Here you can limit what personal information, if it is work, age, contact details and you can select who you want to show it to. The last one is Apps. So if you have many apps installed, you can check what was the activity and you can also control who sees your activity within those third party apps. So over a period of time, a lot of third party services get associated with Facebook. Whether they are news services, fitness apps, games, other social networks, streaming services, photo sharing apps or anything and everything. Many become associated with your Facebook account by being installed on your smartphone. What you can do is you can use this privacy checkup or you can go to settings and then apps and then adjust who can see your activity. You can select the view and edit portion to see who this app is visible to. You'll get the random options of public, friends, custom and more. If you don't want the app to send you notifications, you can even select that. And finally, you save the entire thing. And that's it, it's saved. You can also select and delete an app if you wish. The next one is to see how you can hide your personal information. So Facebook has probably collected lots and lots of your personal information over many years. So your email, your birthday, your political views, your phone number, where you have studied, what's your sexual orientation, where you're from, where you work, who you're married to and who you're related to. Yes, Facebook knows a lot about you. Thankfully, much of this can be controlled via the privacy checkup mentioned above. You can alter who sees what's into the about section of your profile. You can head to the section and you can check on a certain points. Then you can edit anything that you wish. You can also alter privacy settings from friends to only me if you wish to hide that information from your profile. This works if you want to save multiple email addresses or multiple phone numbers or so on. Maybe sometimes you would like to remove the entire thing. You just have to click on the close button or the delete button and it will all be gone, wiped up. The fifth one is how to stop people from sharing your photos and posts. So if you have shared a photo or a status on Facebook and it's open to be reshared by those who have access to it, that means your friends, the people you have tagged, friends of friends, well, if the profile is or the post is public, then anyone in the world can share it. There's no way around that other than to set the post to only me in the first place. 
which kind of defeats the entire point of Facebook. But well, in certain cases, you would only want to pick up a post for the sake of a memory and not want to share it with anyone. Then you can only select this only me option. So that's all for you today. Do let us know which social media platform you want to cover next time because yeah, we do care about your privacy. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and share it with all your friends. Subscribe to our channel and make sure you have the bell icon on to get notifications from us. Until next time, be social but be careful.